I would like to share with everybody a new article that I recently read that changes everything. A new IV therapy in the hospital that zero patients who received this that were hospitalized with COVID-19 died. Um, and roughly of the um, 13 patients that were admitted with COVID-19, only one went to the ICU. So none died. This is a radical dis um, change in the trajectory of this disease. It's an amazing therapy. And I want you to join me as we talk about this amazing therapy. So what is this amazing therapy? We'll talk about it in one second. So this is a study that was actually performed in hospital with two groups being admitted um, to the hospital. About 76 patients consecutively admitted were put in two groups. One was the standard of care. Now the standard of care has changed a lot. The standard of care for this disease back in March was you know, pretty dismal. It's changed a lot. We've dropped the 80% mortality to intubated patients down to 23%. We've changed a lot. The mortality and hospitalizations right now in Spain where the study was done is about 7.6%. So massive, massive improvement, improvements still have room to go. So patients admit to the hospital, there are two groups. One group got this therapy, this IV. Another group did not get this therapy. Um, of, the, of the group um, of 50 patients, I'm sorry, 50 patients, only one was transferred to the ICU, which ended up being about 2% of patients admitted went to the, IV, uh, to the ICU. Crazy number, because it used to be 15, 20% of patients went to the ICU. Um, and, and no one died. So of the 50 patients hospitalized, no one died. The other group um, had about 26 untreated patients, okay? 13 went to the ICU, so almost ha half of them, 50% went to the ICU, and two died. So that's about 7.69% of hospitalized patients in the untreated group died. So what is this treatment? What is this IV that has had in cra crazy results? Well, it's a drug called um, calcifediol. Now, for those of you who don't know what calcifediol is, it's IV vitamin D. IV vitamin D. That's right. You heard it. Um, this is not new. We've been talking about vitamin D since March or April in our videos and you know links about how low D has been seen in high-risk communities like um, the, BAME, um, the, the BAME group in, in the UK, which are the black, Asians, minority ethnic groups, those with um, um, pigmented brown, black skin, even among whites, 42% of whites in the United States have low vitamin D levels. Um, in my clinic, everybody has low vitamin D pretty much. We've been talking about vitamin D and how it affects our body's ability to make antibodies. How when you, when you get infected, you have to make antibodies to put out the infection. And if your vitamin D levels are low, that transition is very slow. We've also talked about low vitamin D levels and how if they're low, you're more prone to cytokine storm and inflammation. So there's been a lot of theory behind vitamin D there's been literature on vitamin D and tuberculosis. We talked about vitamin D and cancers, vitamin D and all kinds of things. This is the first randomized study where you took two groups getting standard of care. One group got IV vitamin D, one group didn't, and the results are nothing short of miraculous. Why is this important? Because vitamin D is cheap and it's available, and you can even use it outside the hospital as preventive. So we've been talking about vitamin D levels getting in between 60 and 80. If your vitamin D level is less than 60 in the United States, there's an association risk for dying for any cause. If it's less than um, 45, there's an increased risk for cancers and cardiovascular disease. Um, some of the early literature with vitamin D and COVID-19 showed that was less than 30. You had an increased risk for getting hospitalized with COVID-19 and dying with it. Now we have a study that shows if we give you active therapy, we can lower your risk for dying significantly. Now, this is a small study. It was only 76 patients. There's only one study in one hospital area in Spain. So we need more studies. We need more research. But the therapy is safe. It's readily available. So why not start using it now for prevention? Why not start using it when patients are mid to the hospital? Um, because it's pretty safe. We can track, track levels. We can check vitamin D levels. We can measure for toxicity. We're looking at parathyroid hormone levels. Looking at vitamin... Um, vitamin D levels as well as calcium levels and ionized calcium. It's something we have a great grasp on that can be taken care of pretty easily. So I just wanna share that because um, it's a big deal. And um, if you're not taking D now, maybe you should talk with your doctor and consider taking it. Um, if you don't know what your D level has been in the last six to 12 months, maybe you should see your provider and get it checked and shoot for that 60 to 80, you know, just maybe. Um, I'm gonna post this, this video with the article um, on Facebook, um, as well as the links. Please read them. Please share them with family and friends. This may potentially be a game changer. Um, I believe it is. 
Um, at the very least, it tells us we need more D. Um, vitamin D is a hormone that controls our immune systems, and um, anywhere from 42 to 80 some percent of Americans are deficient. So it seems like a simple intervention. Um, anyway, I hope this is helpful. Continue to follow us, continue to share this information. Um, we continue to put out more information on different therapeutics that are things you can do that can change the trajectory of your risk for both getting ill from any cause, COVID-19, and we'll be talking later about post-COVID syndrome or long COVID, which is a variation of COVID where people get sick and keep symptoms for months and months and months. We'll be talking about it a little bit later as well. It all comes together. It all interconnects, and we're trying to share with you some of these data points so that you can start connecting some of these dots for yourself. Anyway, take care, be safe, be, safe, be well, and um, have a great week.